Hi guys! So I have the video playing in the back of me trying to use packing tape um, and some transparency or acetate to, in order to cut out the horse, put the tape on, um, and then I tried to peel it off of that transparency. Super difficult. It did not go well at all. I did end up getting it onto the canvas after struggling a lot with getting the tape off. And then I did the wave pour over it, but when it dried, um, the edges peeled up, paint leaked under the tape. It was not a good <laughs> situation, didn't give a nice edge at all. So I would not recommend using packing tape. <laughs> I was trying to find that alternative for you guys instead of the Cricut. So I was trying packing tape to start with. But don't fret, I did find another product out there um, to use instead of packing tape. The packing tape just destroyed the canvas too when I tried to peel it off. So stay tuned. Hi guys. So since the packing tape did not work, <laughs> um, but you know, I had to try it. Um, I found a different product that I think is going to work super awesome. Um, so this is what I came up with, um, just reading online and stuff. They have this Rust-Oleum peelable primer. You probably don't know what the heck is that. <laughs> it's, um, it's basically like sprayable rubber. Uh, so you spray it on, it hardens, but then you can peel it off again. So it's made for cars, but um, it goes on any surface. It's super easy to use, just like spray paint, you just do a few coats and then um, yeah, it ends up kind of like a thicker rubber. Um, so basically what I did was, same thing with the acetate, uh, whoop, is I cut out that face I had. Uh, you can see the face right here. And I had put the acetate on and cut it out. So this I just printed off of the computer. And then what I did was with the other piece, so not this piece, but with the piece that came with this, I had put the face here, taped it on, and then sprayed this stuff on this side so that I can do a nice big swipe across. And it's actually dry, um, which is awesome. <laughs> and I'm excited to do this swipe. So I also have the video going um, in the corner of me taking this peelable primer and spraying it on here so you can kind of see me in my garage um, how I applied this and stuff, but basically it's just like spray paint. So I just taped it off. Um, I taped off the edges too, just so that it would get um, sort of an edge. So I'm thinking this is going to work pretty good. I hope so. Um, I, you can pick this up pretty much anywhere, uh, hardware stores or Amazon. And yeah pretty excited about this. So basically, if you don't have a Cricut, <laughs> this peelable stuff was about 20 bucks. So it's a lot more economical. And then you can just print off whatever kind of shape, like the horses. I had this face, so I'm just going to go with the face and do a little bit of a different, different kind of swiping for this one. <laughs> I was thinking of, for this one, gold purple, um, I have this beautiful mauve and black. So this one I mixed up with, um, you can kind of see the consistency. So this was a whole mixture of things that I had left over. So I had some metallic purple. I had uh, used the whole thing of this number 19 transparent vermilion 
Um, and then I used a little bit of this metallic white. And a bit of blue. Oh yeah, I used a little bit of this metallic blue to make this color. Which I really love. It's super pretty. So, I'm excited to do this pour. Um, this is Old Gold Artist Loft. This one is Metallic Purple by Artist Loft. And then black is just flow acrylic black. And I'm going to put some silicone into the colors. So I'm putting two drops just because there's quite a bit of paint that I've mixed up. I'm going to move some of these colors. <laughs> paints out of the way. And what I think I'm going to do is I wanted this face to be a black silhouette and then I'm going to swipe it over all these colors. So yeah, I think it'll look really pretty. So I'm just going to mix that silicone in a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is let it dry and peel, peel this off and hopefully I get a nice silhouette on there. We'll see what happens. <laughs> so I'm going to add some of the colors over here and then I'm going to do probably a wet paper towel swipe over. So actually I should prep my paper towel for the swipe first. So yeah, that should work. I'm just going to get the spray bottle. Okay, so just going to spray this paper towel a little bit. There we go. It's a little damp. So I just use a spray bottle and I just spray it a bit so it's damp. So that's pretty much ready to go. Now I'm going to add the colors. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> Let's do some of the gold. It's like a, you'll see, a darker purpley. So I'm just going to use this to do the edges so it'll flow over. Okay, now I'm going to add the black, which has just got flow trail water and absolutely no Make sure I get over that face portion. Pretty. Okay, without further ado, I'm going to just.
Got some colors coming through. <laughs> bit more of the colors coming in. So I think I'm going to help this black along a little bit.
Alrighty, <clears throat> I like it. I love how the black is more dominant here and then it goes into all these pretty cells. And I even like the waviness that came out through here. It kind of looks pretty cool, like when we have the face, this black part will look like it's emerging out of these cells, which I think will look really pretty. So I'm going to let it dry. <laughs> And I'm going to try peeling this off after and seeing how that works out. Here's hoping. <laughs> Hi guys. So, super excited because near the face, uh, the paint is dried. But you can still see how this is all wet uh, paint, so I'm going to try and not disturb that. But I wanted to peel, you could probably see the face a lot better, I wanted to peel off this um, peelable rust-oleum. I tried to start a little, I'm going to use my X-Acto knife. You could probably wait till the whole thing dries, but <laughs> I just wanted to see this was gonna work. <laughs> so I'm just hoping that I got the actual rustoleum. Even if I get a little bit of the canvas, I'm okay with that because I'm just going to paint anyways over this portion. So I'm just trying to get an edge, which is usually the hardest part. <laughs> and not touch this, so yeah. Okay, there we go. Just going to figure out how to get This edge. It's actually working. Really cool. I might have put, should have probably put a little bit more layers. But if you guys can see, oh, that's working awesome. Super clean edge. <laughs> Way easier to peel off. <laughs> so there's a little piece of it. Um, so you just kind of got to work at it. There we go. Ooh. I'm also trying not to drop any of the little pieces on the wet paint. It is peeling off pretty good. Okay, here I'm just gonna be careful around the eyelash. Oops, 
So I took off a little bit <laughs> of the gesso that was on the canvas, but I'm not worried because I'm going to paint this side. And if you need to, you just use your exacto. I think it peels off a little better when it's on like car like <laughs> metal and stuff, but it's not peeling off too bad on this canvas, so. It's actually peeling off pretty good. Hopefully you guys can see that, but it's looking really good. Pretty excited about this. Alternative to the Cricut. So I'm trying to pull towards the paint, it just seems to be a little easier. So that, so I'm just making, I don't go near any of the wet paint. is making a super clean edge, which is nice. That one peeled off a bit better. <laughs> Okay, that looks awesome. Wow, I love that. I'm gonna bring you guys down just to show you. I haven't peeled it all off, there's still some on here. But I'll just keep working at the white edge. And I'm gonna bring you guys down. I love this one. I think it's super pretty. The reason why that black is darker is because it's wet. <laughs> but if I bring you in, you can see the nice clean edge that that peelable primer stuff made. Which is super cool. So that worked really well. I think the only thing is like right on the very edge. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get a good view. You can see a peeled up piece. Is I didn't make it quite thick enough I think on the very edges here. Like I should when I put I put masking tape here. I should have put a little bit more spray here. I had put a lot of spray on the face part. But, um, so it was a lot easier to peel because it was thicker. You could just see the subtle, I love these parts, right against the face, the subtle selling from the acrylic paint in the black. It's very, very subtle, right there at the forehead. You can see it here in the wet paint. I think it's going to look amazing. So I'm still in debates on what color to paint this part. I was thinking painting the white gold, which I think I still might do, because I think that would look really good. So this is an alternative for everybody who doesn't have Cricut, 
and I love this and I just wanted to say thank you everybody for subscribing liking watching and uh, there's links in the description if you're interested in any supplies for acrylic pouring and stuff and I also have this um, rust-oleum link for Amazon in the description as well so thank you guys